Okay, now for question number 18 from this specimen paper 2 from the new 2020 syllabus. In this question, we are asked to shade the region in each of the Venn diagrams below. Now, this is a question that some students find a bit confusing, um, but there's nothing really to be confused about. Okay, so it's something very simple, so nothing to worry about. Now, um, this is what's called the universal set, this rectangle, and these two triangles are set A and set B. So basically what we've got to shade is a region, okay, which is shown by A complement union B. Now, the way I like to think about this is the union is like, looks kind of like a smiley face. Okay, and the intersection, which is the opposite, like this, it's like this, this shape, is like a, a frowny face. Okay, so this guy is like in a good mood and this guy is in a bad mood. Okay, so when you have a union, okay, A complement union B, what it, what the way I think about it is that this guy is easy. If you're outside of A, he's going to include you in the shading. If you're inside of B, he'll also include you inside the shading. Okay, so it doesn't, you, when, when you're shading, you don't have to look at this part. Okay, you just shade all of A complements. I'm going to shade everything outside of A. So A complement is everything outside of A, everything. Everything that you can see that's outside of A is going to be shaded. So all of this is shaded. So basically the only thing I'm not shading is A. I don't have to worry when I have this union, okay, this, this smiley face guy, because he's easy. And as long as you're included in this part, you're going to be included. You're not going to be able to be uh, excluded. And then union with B. So I have to also shade all of B. Now part of B is already shaded. So I'll just continue sh shading the rest of B. And I'm done. Okay, some people say, ah, but why, why did you shade this region? It says A complement. No, but it says union B. So B has to be included because this is the easy guy, not the strict guy. Okay, he's not the strict guy. So that's A complement union B. That's the way I like to think about it. This guy is smiley face. So whatever is on either side of this is going to be included, can't be excluded at all. Okay, then we have this one where we got three of them together and you've got D intersection E complement and intersection F so all of these are frowny faces okay frowny faces sorry all right all of these are frowny faces so first of all D intersection E complement now D intersection E would be this now I'm, I'm just going to shade it just to show you but of course it, that's D intersection E so D intersection E complement is basically everything outside of this. Everything outside of this is what's included. But because it's intersection with F, I can't shade all of it because this guy is frowny face. If it's not in F and it's not in this, it can't be included. It has to be both inside F and also outside of the intersection of D and E. So, of course, I, ha I can include, it has to be in both of these. So this area here is outside D and E, okay? And this area here is also outside the intersection of D and E. That's what we have to worry about. So you see the intersection of D and E was what's inside this part here. Okay, what's inside this part here, that's what's inside D and E. Okay, so outside of D and E would be everything outside of that, but the only part of that that I can shade is the part that's inside F. Okay, so I can't shade the rest of the region outside D intersection E because it's not inside F. It has to be inside F and it has to be outside of the intersection of D and E. So I can't have any of this part shaded, but what I shade must be inside F, can't be outside of F. So that's why we're left with this particular shading here. Okay, just to recap or just to go through, just imagine, okay, this is the answer for part A. Okay, supposing the question was A, intersection, A, sorry, complement, intersection B. Okay, supposing it was that. I'm just doing this to sh just to, you know, show you some of the different scenarios just so you understand. Now, A, intersection, A, complement, intersection B means it must be outside of A. Okay, so it can be anywhere out here, but I can't shade until I looked at the second part because this is the 
frowny face, the strict one, it has to be both outside of A and also inside of B. So it has to be inside of B. So I must, what, shade, what I shade must be inside of B, but it can't be the part that's inside A. It has to be outside of A. So it's going to be just this area over here. Okay, that, that's the answer to this question, not to this question. The answer to the actual question we had was not the same as this. It was everything outside of A, as we said, so we're going to shade all of it. We don't care because this is Mr. Smiley Face. So everything outside of A is all of this. So I'm shading it all. Okay, you don't have to spend hours shading, just these lines is fine. And then union with B means all of B has to be shaded. I've already shaded part of it, so I just complete the shading. So that's the difference between A intersection union B, sorry, A complement union B and A complement intersection B. Okay, so I hope that was clear, um, this topic. So this smiley and frowny face kind of concept kind of helps students to remember which one is which and how to deal with the shading. Okay, so as I said, the, the rest of the questions from this paper can be found in the playlist which is linked in the description box below and you can go to whichever question you want to watch from there. Thank you for watching.